Sketch the graph of f of x is equal to negative 0.75 by x minus 3.5 squared plus 18.75. And also give the domain and range of the function. All right, we've seen exercises like this in the past. We're just going to add one little piece to it in that we are going to find the horizontal intercepts later on. Okay, so the first thing we do is does it open up or down? All right, so just like before, we would say that it opens up. No, I'm sorry, it opens down. All right, the A coefficient is less than zero. Opens down. Two, can we find the vertex? Well, we see this as a shift. We see that the x-coordinate of the vertex is 3.5 and the y-coordinate is 18.75. So the vertex is 3.5, 18.75. And we also know, so since it opens down, that this is the maximum. Third step, the vertical intercept. So then evaluating f of 0 f of 0 would be negative 0.75 by 0 minus 3.5 squared plus 18.75. All right, order of operations, negative 0.75 by negative 3.5 squared plus 18.75. Or negative 3.5 squared, 12.25, so I got negative 0.75 by 12.25 plus 18.75. The 12.25 by negative 0.75, that's negative 9.1875 plus 18.75, which is 9.5625. So the vertical intercept is 0, 9.5625. Now let's add a new step. Let's find the horizontal intercepts, if there are any. So the horizontal intercepts you find by letting the function equal 0. So we would have negative 0.75 by x minus 3.5 squared plus 18.75 is equal to 0. I'll subtract the 18.75. And I'll divide by 0.75. So let's see, 18.75 divided by 0.75 is 25. So then, using the square root property, x minus 3.5 is the positive or negative square root of 25. So x minus 3.5 is positive or negative 5. So x minus 3.5 is negative 5. x minus 3.5 is positive 5. So adding 3.5 to both sides on the first equation, x is equal to negative 1.5. Adding 3.5 to both sides on the second equation, x is equal to 8.5. So then my horizontal intercepts are negative 1.50 and 8.50. All right, so let's use all of that information to sketch the curve. We know it opens down. We know the vertex is 3.5 and 18.75. So 3, 3.5 and 18.75 would be about here. I'm sorry about that. The vertical intercept is 0, 9.5625. So that's going to be up here. Now use the symmetry of the curve. Remember that we have the symmetry that passes through the vertex to plot another point 
So that would be at 3.5, that would be at 7, 9.5625. That would be about here. And I'll mark that point. That would, point is 7, 9.5625. Now we have the horizontal intercepts at negative 1.5 and 8.5. And those points should also be symmetric about the axis of symmetry. So we have some points here, and so we will draw a smooth curve through the points. We were asked for the domain and range. Well, it goes left to right the whole way, so the domain is all real numbers. The range, well, it goes on, it comes from all the way to the bottom, but it stops at this y value, and that y value is 18.75, so the range is y is less than or equal to 18. 75.